Hello. Can she hear? Hello. 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 You look amazing. Thank you. You look amazing. I look amazing. The backdrop is amazing. Everything is just wonderful. <laughs> I had to come prepared for you, gorgeous. I mean, <laughs> together for the screen. <laughs> Hi, Faith. How are you? I'm good. I'm so good. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be chatting to you. So I'm excited to be chatting with you also. Um, first of all, we are Lady Parks uh, staring up a lot of us. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about all of the buzz that's going on? <laughs> you know what? We really, people have been so great and so wonderful. And that is, that's what we hoped for. Right. We hope that people would respond to the show. We hope that they love it. We hope that they watch it. But it's still really strange when people are like, oh my gosh, the show. We're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's amazing to be able, we carried this thing around with us that we were so proud of um, and that we really loved. And now it belongs to everyone. Now it's the, now it's the world. And what's really nice is people are taking care of it. And I'm like, oh, they're taking care of our baby. Like, this is great. Um, so it's been, it's been incredible. It premiered last year in the UK and it's now streaming on Peacock and everybody is raving about it saying it's the show to watch. Um, I want to dive into all things um, Lady Parks, obviously, but before we dive in, I want to know a little bit more about Miss Beautiful Faith, this gorgeous oh. girl we have here today. How did you get your start into acting? I have wanted to be an actor since uh, since I could walk. Like, mm -hmm. I I knew I wanted, I think it was the first time I ever saw like a blooper reel or something and I saw actors laughing and I was like, wait, it's not real. And when they're doing, I'm like, it's not real and they have fun and like, and they get to make worlds come true and, and story tell every day. This is amazing. This is what I want to do. Um, and I was kind of always doing that, always in my school plays, always like performing where I could. I was the kid when we were in primary school who would make all the other kids gather together at break time to have a rehearsal of a show we'd put on at lunchtime. I was, <laughs> and I'd be like, right, I've written the show. These are the parts. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's just what I wanted to do from, from day dot. Um, and I have, my siblings are also actors as well. I have an older brother who's an actor and a younger brother who's an actor. And my older brother went to drama school and I was like, oh, so you, you go to a drama school and then you get to, and then you get to act all the time and then you get an agent. Um, and so that's what I did. Um, and I auditioned for loads of uh, drama schools and I got into some and then I, yeah. And then I went and I met the best amount of people there and I learned a lot about myself there um, whilst I was training and I came out. And since then it's been just a lot of work. I've done a lot of um, stage and a lot of theater and this is actually my first TV series as a lead. And, and that's just, it's just a dream come true and it's, to be able to do that and to be able to do it in a show that is um, centered around women yeah. and women of color and is uh, and it's like that not only in front of the screen but behind the screen as well that's a dream and that's just that's not what I was auditioning for before I auditioned for this yeah. and so to be part of this show has just been it it it, it literally I'm living my childhood dream so that's wow. awesome. I love to hear stories like that for those unfamiliar with the show, break it down for the viewers at home who are watching this, who are like, okay, what is this? I need to watch it. I need to add it to my list. Talk to the viewers about what we, we are Lady Parks is all about. Okay, for the viewers, you do need to watch it. it it's yeah. a show about an all-Muslim female punk band, um, and they are rehearsing, and then they... Uh, one day decide that they need a lead guitarist um, and uh, Syra, our, our band's front woman, who is played by the incredible Sarah Camila MP, decides that that girl is going to be Amina Hussein, who is a microbiologist PhD student, um, who is played by the incredible uh, Anjana Varsan. And um, the band would be fine with it, but um, Amina Hussein has stage fright and every time she performs, she uh, is either sick or has diarrhea. Right. <laughs> and so what ensues in these six episodes is this beautiful chaos um, that ultimately brings together these uh, this wonderful sisterhood. Um, it's funny, um, it's, it's unexpected, it is written so authentically and so fantastically. Um, and it, yeah, it's unlike anything I've ever seen and it's more like everything I want to see in the future. So people should watch it. 
oh, you just laid it out for the people. If you're not watching <laughs> after that, then I don't know what's wrong. You <laughs> played Asus Bisma and yeah. the only mother of the bunch. When you yeah. first read the script, Faith, what was it about your character that resonated with you and said, oh, I, I, I know her. I can work with her. I read the script and the whole thing was absolutely fantastic. I've, I've said before, I auditioned, um, I, I was actually one, of, I was the last to be cast. Um, I auditioned and got cast like about two weeks before we started um, wow. in the midst of the pandemic. Um, and so what you have during the pandemic is a lot of trauma coming to light and everything happening with the Black Lives Matter movement. Mm -hmm. um, what sang, what what really touched me when I read this script was the joy. Bismar was a character full of joy. And here we get to celebrate some Black joy as well. And I was like, that is what I want to put out into the industry. I think narratives and stories are so important um, and I think they leave such a lasting legacy and they can change a person's heart and mindset and to be able to feed into this story has been one of the greatest things um, that I could do and it was it was the only thing that I could do after the year we just had really um, for me it was like that's what I need to be part of um, and then I had to learn to play the bass <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> And that was interesting. <laughs> I have a question about that. I have a question about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask about that. I was like, yeah. wow, okay. I wanna know from you, Faith, because We Are Lady Parts is an all-female, all-Muslim band. It's re revolutionary in its own right, right? That's revolutionary, just yeah. period. Why is this show so important in exploring and showing Muslim rep representation on screen? Yeah, I think, well, first, anyone who watches the show and anyone who will watch the show will see that it's unlike any way that I would say that Muslim women have been depicted in the industry so far. Um, it, it's a show that in which Muslim women don't have to, or these women don't have to facilitate a man's story. It's centered around them first and foremost, which is just wonderful. And more of what we need to see across so many different types of shows. Here's just, here's just a sisterhood um, that take care of each other and love each other and who are funny because women are funny. Um, and so that's one of the things that's so fantastic about the show. I think it really humanizes, um, some some people that have just become become voices and 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 people who ha haven't been able to tell the story i think what's so amazing about we are lady parts is nida has been inspired by uh family and people who she grew up with and what people say when they watch the show is it's incredibly authentic right. um and it's a show that it's a show that Nida was working on for five years before it got here. So before it got here, she did the work and she made sure she came prepared and correct and she was ready. Um, and so I think that really comes across. I think people will see that it's totally different to anything we've seen before right. um, and in a, in a really good and helpful way for society. And I hope that it inspires more people, not just uh, within all communities, to write more and uh, to tell stories because I I think all stories are important and all stories need to be heard and um, we can connect as individuals when we start to hear each other's stories it is it is so important i love that um talking about the bass the music yeah. in this show is real i yeah. hear a little birdie told me that you like actually went out and learned to play the bass before getting this role they break it down for us talk to us about what that was all about so I read the script and I'm like, oh, I've got to play this role. But I am like, but she does play the bass though. <laughs> but I don't play the bass. I remember before we had, um, we had to have, I had to have a rehearsal with Shez, Shez Manzor, who's Nida Manzor's brother, mm -hmm. um, who taught us all our instruments for the show and scored the show. And I had to have an audition with him. And uh, the night before I called up my friend, and was like, can you just give me a quick like bass lesson and just show me how to hold a bass <laughs> so I don't look absolutely ridiculous. Um, and so that's what I did. And then I got onto this and I just blagged it. I just acted ridiculously confident. Like I knew what, even if I wasn't playing the right notes, like they were gonna get there. Right. Um, rehearsed a lot hours upon hours like built calluses on my fingers oh my god yeah, like, 
I'm I'm such a perfectionist. So I was like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this as well as I can, number one. And also, I think that's one of the best things about acting. You get to pick up like all these different skills as you go along. That's that's what makes what we do so incredible. So um, so I was definitely going to put the work in. And then we all got to rehearse as a band. And that was just fun. And we were so in sync. And I think, yeah, that just really informed our friendship on and off stage, I, on and off stage. Um, set which was really beautiful as well wow that is so I was like I have to ask her about that like really so you can like, go and do your own like set you can go and play in the in Wait, a I can play all of those songs <laughs> <laughs> I can play all those songs wow um, but you know they they gave me the bass and they take away the bass they have the bass now <laughs> they don't just let it sit in my house which is why we need we need to do season two so i can get my bass back that's the main thing i just need to see my bass baby like i'm just like which brings me to my last question faith people yeah. are like okay stick with the six episodes they're like okay the only thing that i hate it that we needed more we need like eight or ten episodes what's going on isn't it all our shows are so short i'm so jealous of like your 22 <gasps> episode shows i literally i'm so jealous um i, I have do. you heard anything i i i think we're just we're we're collecting all our information people have been really kind and people are really enjoying the show yes. uh, and people want a season two. Oh. One thousand. I, I personally think we should give the people what they want. Give us so, one more episode. Give us about three to four more episodes, and definitely give us a season two and a season three. But I, I'll do it. I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. Thank. I absolutely adore you. I'm so excited for you. Love you. Love you. Love you in this show. You are killing it. I can't wait to see what you do next and whatever it is. You have to come back and talk to us about it. Thank you, Ashley. I will come back and talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Faith. Bye. Where's the buzz? Oh, yeah. Where is the buzz? You said we used to be a single.